Welcome to Ask the Editor. I'm Peter Sokolowski, editor-at-large at, at Merriam-Webster. Little slips of paper have always been used in the making of dictionaries. And here at Merriam-Webster, we have literally millions of slips for evidence of word use, or citations, as well as files for pronunciation, dates of first use of each word, and suggested changes to each book. The most unusual of our files is the backward index, which now occupies a set of shelves in our basement. It's a card catalog of the headwords of the unabridged dictionary typed backwards. We're not completely sure when it was started, but the slips were made at different times between the late 1930s and the mid-1970s as a way to get information that we find today using digital search. Editors could identify sets of related terms that should ideally be defined in similar ways, like Highland Pony, Shetland Pony, and Welsh Pony, or all the words that end in phobia, looking up the diseases that end in itis, or all the doctrines and theories that end in ism now became possible. Initial research for a rhyming dictionary also made use of the index, where sequences such as Doherty, Forty, Shorty, and Snorty show up regularly. The index was the only way to get answers to certain questions about words in those days. But also, according to company lore, it was a way to keep the typing staff busy when work was slow. Look for more Ask the Editor videos at merriamwebster.com.